Helen E here with Eyes on the Game here for UFC 245 Fight Week, being joined by the one and only, the quote, Miss Amanda Nunez, now looking to defend your title once again this weekend. How's this camp been for you? Amazing, you know, I'm ready to go. Everything's on point. I'm sharp, I'm ready, and I'm excited for Saturday. Yes, well, speaking of so much excitement, yesterday the UFC released the photo, the iconic photo of you with a bunch of goats. What was that photo shoot like for you? It was cool. Yeah. Uh, to, to get all the goats together was a mission, <laughs> but uh, we have a good time in the farm, you know. I'm a farmer girl. Yeah. I know how to do with it with the, with the other situation, but that, having the two belts, holding the two belts and having those goats next to me, I was all about a little bit because if they do something, I don't be able to handle because my two hands is like occupied. Full, yeah. yeah, full. And, but uh, I handled very well, was pretty quick. All, all the, the, um, the photographer, all those people, they are very fast and they make sure like, Everything was done fast as possible because that was like a pretty exhausted day, but uh, the, the pictures look very, very good, you know, and I'm, I'm happy to do that. How long did that photo shoot take? Uh, I think we, because the farm was a little bit far away, it was two hours driving, and almost the whole day long we stayed there. Yeah. yeah well, hey, it was back at nighttime. It was worth it though. The yeah, photos look great. Like I mentioned, you are the greatest female of all time. So you've beaten the Holly Holmes, the Ronda Rousey's, Misha Tate's, Valentina's. When you reflect on your career so far, which fight helped you grow and learn the most? I think it, all the fights really helped me to grow. You know, because each fight is different. And I feel like I take my lost as a, a huge experience and make me evolve a lot. You know, after my last loss, I definitely I don't want to be that spar anymore. Never I will. And I have to learn from that. And I, I learn it. And now I'm here, you know, and uh, I feel like all the fights since my last loss until today, my last one, was a, was a OX good experience, learn a lot of things. Well, speaking of experiences, I mean, for you though, personally, what personal goals do you have? Honestly, like, I, this is my job, you know. I have, I'm, I'm, I'm the champ in two division. I want to defend both as long as possible, you know. I want to retire with these two belts in my hand, and I will, you know, because I keep evolving, you know. This is my time, my moment, and when I. When I started doing this, I want to be the best at this. And I, I know I would be, and I am right now. And just a matter of time to get it Saturday, you know, consolidate once again, and move forward in my career. But ideally for you, how many more years do you see yourself doing this? I, I didn't even know, you know, like, I'm healthy. Of course, we have like, all the fighters have a lot of little injuries, but I never have any surgery, anything like that. I'm healthy, I'm ready to go. Maybe until 40 years old, <laughs> I will be around, but we will see. And lastly, how do you see your fight playing out on Saturday? Honestly, everybody know I'm gonna look for the, the, the takedowns, of course, you know, I'm a grappling, but I also, if she give me like the opportunity, I will be able to knock her out. And with that win, I know your wife Nina's birthday was last week. Are you guys going to celebrate her birthday as well? Oh, definitely. Uh, uh, we don't have much time to do anything, but uh, I feel like when we come back, we're going to have plenty of time.